Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Lou Fru Fru Studio and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And I hope you will come back and continue to join us as we do some journaling throughout the week. Today we are going to work on the 50 stack challenge, which is a challenge that Amy with Crafty Cat came up with, um, in which you take guest checks and decorate those to put in journals. Um, she does two prompts on Monday, and you use one prompt on each check, so each week you're doing two guest checks with one prompt each, and I'll, uh, link her YouTube video from this past Monday in the description box so that you can see this week's prompts. This is my um, guest checks that I've done so far. These started out in a book and they got, um, I thought that I had allowed enough room in the book and I didn't. So I have completely deconstructed the book at this point and more, I, I will have to put it back together once I have all the checks done. Um, so this week we're on, it looks like 35 and 36. So let me get my pen here if I can find it. So that I can, and of course I can't find it. wanted to kind of write them all in the same color. Maybe I'll write them in pencil and then go back. Okay, so 35 is yellow. And 36 is a envelope window. And like I said, I will link her video from this past Monday in the description box below so you can go and check it out and see um, how the prompt works or how the challenge works. And um, if you decide that you want to participate, she does not have a time limit on it. And so you can start anytime. You can start at the beginning or you can pick up where we are now or whatever you like, and then I think she is going to have another similar type challenge um, once this one is done. So, watch out for that as well. Alright, so let's see what we got. So, yellow. Yellow is my least favorite color in this world. Sorry, my um, I have metal buttons on my shirt, so they're making noise, and I apologize for that. So, I just went through my stash and pulled out some stuff, and I found this little Morton Salt girl that I had cut out, I think, for a Marguerite Miller, and I ended up using it in a different size. So, I'm going to use that, and then I've just got various pieces of paper, and I actually think I've used some of this paper on a previous one, but it works. So, I'm going to use it again, because it's got yellow and black in it, and I think it looks really good with this picture. So, on this check, the yellow check... I'm just going to do kind of a collage of these different kinds of paper, um, I believe, of some sort, and just tear some of these off. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's been a terrible, well, I won't say terrible, uncomfortable week of rain here. Um, I think it's supposed to rain about all week. So it's just yucky. It's cold, rainy. 
which we need the rain, I guess, but it's just yucky to get out and drive in. And, and then I also have this vintage um, ledger card that is yellow, so I'm gonna tear a piece of that off and kind of stick it in there somewhere just to get some numbers. All right, so let's start with this and just kind of put down a background. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the guest check wording showing and a little bit of the numbers. Somehow. If I don't put that up there, you're not going to be able to see it. I think that's okay. So let's start gluing some of this down. <clears throat> Guys, I was working on zipper tags yesterday and I glued my glue book to my glass mat. Yeah, that's how my day went yesterday. And I think what happened was I must have at some point moved it. And I must have done this and flipped it over. And when I did, I glued it to my glass mat. Because when I came in here earlier, yep, it was all glued down. I don't particularly want that green, so I'm going to that, tear that off. Do I, do I like that side better? Oh, they're both the same. How's everybody doing with their Christmas shopping? I am not making much progress. It's so hard this time of year to get everything done, especially when you're trying to work and shop and make videos and it's just a lot. But I'll get it done eventually, I guess. As long as it's done by the 25th. I guess that's all that matters, right? Actually gonna flip that one upside down so the square ends at the bottom and then lastly I have this gray I'm 
I think I'm going to bring it right above that number. So there is my background. Let's trim off any excess here. Okay, now I'm going to ink around her. I think I'm going to bring her down to about right there and then. I wanted to put this perishable sign on here just because it's black. And then I also have this Dayton's Yellow Cab ticket. Like that. But I want to ink. So I'm going to ink, you know what, I think I'm going to ink in black soot because I think it's going to look better. And I'm not going to worry about if there's a little bit of white showing. Could have cut that a little closer. I think it'll be all right. We'll look at it when we when I get it done here. Yeah, I think that's fine. some blobs on there just to kind of let's put a couple numbers shall we numbers numbers are always good aren't they that may be the only one I have over here No, this one's different. All right, so if we put her on here. A new page, so I don't tear her. Put 
my yellow cab sticker under there or ticket. a sticker like the sound And then I'm going to use our glitter glue for this. So it's a little bit thicker. Material. And then I also have this, but I don't know that we need it. Nope, I don't think I'm gonna use that. All right, so there is yellow. So now we're going to move on to envelope window. And I did not have like a junk mail envelope, if you can believe that. But I do did have, do have one of these seed envelopes. And so I am going to use that, and all I did for that is I cut a piece of scrapbook paper. I cut the top of it off so that it's shorter, and I like that it says notes right there, so I'm not really going to cover much of this. Um, and then I just cut a piece of scrapbook paper to fit inside and put that, this little novelty, black novelty manufacturing company sticker on the inside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it around the guest check like this so that you can open it up and actually write on the guest check. I'm not gonna do um, much of anything to the lined part of the guest check. But, um, Trying to think. Do I want that? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a notch in the top and have it open at the top and glue the side shut. And I'm just going to put a little notch. And then that can go come out the top. And then when I glue it on here, I'm getting black ink everywhere. Because it was oxide, not ink. I need to move that out of the way and give it a chance to dry. I need to cut that just a little bit narrower. I'm going to take it out for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to run art glitter glue down here to seal up my pocket like that. And then I'm going to do it here. and wrap it around the back of my guest check. Because mine are glued, glued down. Now, if you wanted it to be removable, of course you'd wanna, you know, probably do something else. You may wanna flip it under 
you know, put the flap here and then cover it or whatever. If that makes sense. Okay. So now, this will go down in here. And like I said, I may need to trim it a little bit now that I've closed that side. We'll see here how it works. Yeah. So I'm going to take just a little bit off both sides. Now, and this is one-sided paper, so you can journal on the back of that very easily. Come on, paper. Cooperate with me here. And you could also make it stiffer. I didn't do anything, you know, to make it it's just a piece of scrapbook paper. I didn't exactly trim that even either. Because now my little thing's not in the middle. But I think that's going to be okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, and then I have this little birdie. And I'm going to put on here. Because the colors match. And um, if you all have been watching me do this series... You know that I'm doing a double spread for mine, so they coordinate with each other, but you do not have to do that. And then I have this little claim check here, yellow claim check. I think I may put it right there. And maybe this is where this needs to go. All right, so let's put some paper. I've got this music paper, too, that I want to. There's something about birds and music paper, isn't there? And I, <clears throat> I just want to put just some little strips. The gray is really nice on the seed envelope. So, I don't mind that the gray shows. But I just want to put a few little strips here and there to kind of tie it into the other side. Let's put some of this dot on there. Maybe this on the side.
Nails Anchor Bird. My hands are getting sticky. Everything's starting to stick to them. down his tail all the way. this off a little bit more just because I can't take that not being closer to the middle. That's better. So now, I'm thinking maybe a sentiment or something right there. And I'm going to look at we might do a little bit of stamping up there too. it on my guest check. Now, let's find something to put there at the top to kind of even that off. Sorry, I'm just looking for something to stick on there. I'm all tangled up over here.
maybe this one is appropriate for me right now. It says you can do anything, but not everything. So I'm gonna put that there and then I still feel like we need something right here. Do that. I don't mind the numbers being sideways, sideways, side words. <laughs> okay. I think that's it guys so with our two prompts this week were yellow and a envelope window so i think we have that covered we probably could have a little more yellow but um yeah my love of yellow is not is not very big so we're gonna stop right there and i did put yellow on both sides and so that kind of counts too and like I said I'm just gonna leave this like it is because you can write on there and I don't mind that and um and I will be gluing these down anyway to pages so um yeah considering I had to use yellow I'm pretty happy with that so, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and um, please subscribe to uh, be and hit the little bell so that you get notifications of future videos, and um, thank you so much for your comments regarding the uh, ring journal. It is sold, and uh, I did list earlier today um, three new zipper tags, and I've got three or four more coming, but I'm trying to list them as I get them done, because I know we're running out of time, um, once I get this little group done, I won't do any more Christmas zipper tags, and I think I have about a half a dozen more, um, of the little paper clips with the pull-out little tags, and those will be listed sometime this week as well. So thanks, guys. I really do appreciate your support. And I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. See you Thursday.